All right, everyone. Blenarius is not leaving us alone anytime soon. However, this Blenarius boss fight is a lot different from the ones we've had before because we, as you can see, take, take in this picture right here, are forced to use Oban. Which is an interesting one, because nine times out of ten, we all like to start off with a good old Benjamin on our side. So we can get some quick cash and uh, make this a hell of a lot easier than it should be. Should be? Hell, no, not should be. Make it a hell of a lot easier on ourselves, because it should be. That's better. Okay. So I'm going to start with open there. And we're gonna just gun it for banana farms, because I don't see any other way to really beat Blenarius, or no one seems to have found a way to ble beat Blenarius without banana farms or an income other than popping balloons of some sort. So, <laughs> that, that's gonna be the really interesting Blenarius in the future, because these, these fights just seem to be es escalating every single week, right? I'm just waiting for the week where Banana Farms are banned and Ninja Kiwi just says, fuck you, do something with this. <laughs> because it is not going to happen. Normal difficulty, there could be an ever so slight chance that you could still win without having any sort of other cash income. But it's highly li unlikely. Highly unlikely. But you never know. And I can almost guarantee that every Elite Blenarius guide you will see for this week will have the banana farms all stacked up here. Because it's a great spot. Hey, there we go. Now we get brambles. Good thing about good old brambles is you can just spam it and not have to care about anything. With Ben's ability, there's a, there's a uh, downside to it. So you don't feel like you should be spamming it because you could let balloons slip through. But uh, good old, good old Oban, just throw it down whenever you want to, whenever it's ready, pretty much. And yes, we are doing this without any monkey knowledge. I always do regular Blenarius without any monkey knowledge because, I mean, it's more applicable that way to everyone, and as far as I'm aware, it's been doable every single week. However, Elite Blenarius is a completely different story. I would not trust myself to beat that without my monkey knowledge. In fact, I don't think many people can, <laughs> just in general. Because a lot of the times a Vengeful Temple is needed, and that is monkey knowledge in itself. So, yeah. Alright, so... Oban can actually handle most things. Uh, the only things he can't really handle are purple balloons with his regular attack and camo balloons with his regular attack. His brambles, on the other hand, can help him with camo and purples. But I want to try and get another banana farm before I worry too much more about defense here. Losing a couple lives is fine because of the banana farms I'm going to be going for. Um, but generally, we do need some more defense out here. So, let's give him a nice little friend. A ninja. Wait, what's his range? We need his range first before we place this. So, like, it's around there. Because I think there's a buff for... Magic monkeys within the range of Oban as well as just magic monkeys in general. So we gotta be smarts. Gotta be a bit more smarts about this. Okay. It's interesting to see just how little cash we have without Benjamin on our side. It's kind of scary, actually. Okay. Do that. We seem to be going well. Oops throwing stuff all over the place. Get a double shot. Why not? Okay. But now I think we're fairly safe. Oban can pop leads. Ninja can pop camos. 
Let's throw down another village. See how we go. I've actually been grinding the uh, collection event this week for once. It's weird. I don't usually do it, but now I'm just like, eh, I kind of want to get all the medals on all the solo player stuff, like all the solo maps and things like that. And so now I'm just going to the collection event, going to the intermediate maps and then picking out the maps that get us the extra totems and then I'm just rocking those maps and those difficulties to get me their medals. Alright, let's see how many more we can just get for this. I think we'll be, this will be our last one, maybe. It seems like a good amount of banana farms to have. Now, this is just the first of many, um, what do you call it? The first of many Blenarius is, 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 um, this is just tier one. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so we shouldn't need too much defense, but at the same time, we shouldn't slack off. Because underestimating Blenarius is how you can get killed very quickly in this game. But I wonder if Oban actually does anything meaningful in terms of damage to Blenarius. I doubt it. I feel like every hero's gotta have like a pathetic amount of damage it actually deals to Blenarius. There couldn't be a single hero that's like super duper awesome mega amazing at kicking Blenarius' ass, otherwise everyone would be using that instead of going for the more money. Right? Surely. Okay get a few more banana farms. We're not going to upgrade them past tier 2. I think tier 2 is actually a nice nice area to finish on and it pays for itself really quickly compared to other banana farms. We'll upgrade them later of course but for now, can we fit one right in the middle? Oh! Oh! Hey, we can. That's cool. I like that. Didn't even plan it but Look at it go. Alright, this is going to be the last one because we are very close to Blenarius. I need to be uh, actually paying attention here. Okay. So what have we got so far to kick his ass? We've got... Tack. We've got a ninja. And we've got Oban. I think we need a village for sure. To buff these guys. I don't know why I always go for Grow Blocker. Like, yeah, it's good in the long run, but I really didn't need to buy that right now. Alright, let's get primary training and mentoring. That'll be very necessary for what I want to do. Well, maybe not mentoring. Actually, no. Mentoring's fine. Mentoring's more than fine, because I want to get a boomerang to make sure we live through this and... Uh, able to tell the tale. So let's get a glaive ricochet. If you didn't know, getting a more glaives with... Is it the bottom path? I think it might be the bottom path. I don't know if the bottom path is still the best path, but uh, it's a pretty damn good one. And it can certainly sort out a bunch of ceramics. Which is convenient, because that's exactly what I want it to do. Oh, come on, fit in there. Thank you. Whew. Come on. And there we go. Okay. So I'm hoping the tack is going to deal plenty of damage. Oh, yes it is. And then we can give the tack an alk buff while it's there. Give it faster throwing too so it hits the ninja as well. Or at least hits them both consistently enough. There we go, that's the damage we're looking for. How do our boys handle... Let's actually go for a radar scanner next, because those things are slipping past us. But our boys seem to have handled the first wave of ceramics fairly well. 
That's a good thing. And camo detection. So you, we shouldn't have lost too many lives, and we didn't. Alright, let's focus back on our farms, shall we? I am lazy, so we're going bottom path. Come on. I just want to be able to focus on these six banana farms when it comes to collecting. And... Boom! Tier 1 popped. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, here we go. Here we go. And I know these banana farms are inefficient. Going for the top path, cross path, but... Uh, well, rather, not inefficient, but not the best they could be. But, just for now, they'll start us off on our income journey. And it'll be beautiful. Alright, but the main driving force that I think we should be using... Well, I think most people will be using in uh, not only normal, but elite Blenarius as well, is going to be the good old friend... What's it called? Avatar of Wrath. I think that's going to be a very key component to uh, to this week's Blenarius. Just because we get given Oban, and Oban loves to buff the druids. Absolutely loves it. It's his favourite thing in the world. Besides the forest. Okay, so, I think we will get a few more banana farms up. We're going to get the good ones up this time. Because these guys do actually make more money. And it's so weird to say that, because it means that even though I've placed these banana farms much later than the first eight... These two are going to make more money than all of these guys in the long run. There we go. We can be a little greedy, I think. But now I think we're going to go for our tack zone. Or even... You know, I think we'll go for a central market first. Our money situation is looking pretty damn nice. So I think we can... Uh, Splash a bit more cash before we go crazy on the defense. So there we go. And I'm going to be buffing these guys first because they're more efficient. Makes sense. Yeah, okay. Now we'll go for the tax zone, I think. So the tax zone, I believe, should be able to uh, take down tier 2 without too much problems. But you never know. Blenarius is always a mystery in my mind. It could just straight up decide, nah, that's not going to work this time. Screw you. Try again. Or try something else. Okay, but this is good though. Because right on time, Blenarius has shown up and we've just gotten the tax zone. Okay, let's focus on more central markets. And try and forget about Blenarius. Because I feel like tax zone's got this covered. hoping. <laughs> Can't see the health bar. Oh, you can just see it. It's going down. It's getting there. He's getting in the range. Okay, let's get a stronger stim. Just realized that Blenarius is actually spawning balloons quite far back. And without the glaives, we wouldn't be able to hit them. So maybe it would be a good idea just to have like a <laughs> just a just a wizard back here, just in case things get a little far. Nothing crazy, just a zero two two. Oh yes, that's a lot of money. We should be spending that on more money. And it looks like our tax zone has got this Blenarius covered, so let's go all out on cash. Because we got 15 rounds. That is quite a lot of time for us. Usually with elite Blenarius, you'll only have like three rounds after defeating Blenarius, and you'll have to go for cash during the Blenarius fight. Which I think is crazy and insane. So I quite like the normal difficulty. Much better than the elite difficulty, I'm not gonna lie. Good old Taxone. Always looking out for us. 
and then considering we've already got like a, uh, what is it? A primary mentoring up. We may as well throw down a bunch of other primary towers. But I do want our Avatar of Wrath to be somewhere in here. Surrounded by many, 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 many other druids. Boom, there we go. Yeah, we're starting to get that exponential curve of money coming in now. Because it's almost like every round I can get another central market, and that's only going to give me more money. <laughs> you just have to be as greedy as Mr. Krabs, I find, for these Blinarius events. It's the only way. It really is. It's insane. To think that Ninja Kiwi actually introduced a game mode where you need to farm ultra hard in the early game to actually win. It still just baffles me that they've actually done this. <laughs> I'm not opposed to it, I do love it. Elite Planaris is a bit much though, they could tone that down, but damn. Usually Ninja Kiwi is all about everyone being able to do everything and with chimps mode we all thought that was the pinnacle. It was like, oh, you can't farm. You can't make it easy. You just have to get through a hundred. This one's like the complete opposite. You can farm as much as you want. It's still going to be a pain. There we go. I think we will go for all of the central markets before the next Blenarius appears. Because I think we do have enough time to sort of make the cash back. And this round should give us one, if not two. Come on, surely we can get the last central market this round. These guys give so much cash. Come on. And I love how our... <laughs> our Morglave guys just back here like... So, when's the next Blenaria showing up? <laughs> Alright, well, I think another great thing for Blenarius is all of the debuffs we can apply to him. Because... I don't actually know. Just because. <laughs> so let's get a super brittle, which is insane damage. And then we will also get ourselves a sniper, not in the range of the alchemist. Slap him on first, main Moab. That's actually going to slow down our progress a lot on round 80. Oh no, round 80 is when Blenaria shows up, that doesn't matter. Okay. We good, we good. In fact, I might even get another banana farm. There's no such thing as too much cash when fighting Blenarius. I should I should I should preface that. When when fighting Blenarius, there's no such thing as too much cash. Unless of course, you know, you're going completely cash, in which case you're gonna lose to Blenarius, but still, I support the idea. <laughs> Ooh, and if we get like a village Nah, we don't need the village. Screw it. I was going to say, there is a village upgrade you can get, bottom path tier 4, that boosts how much cash your banana farms around the village make, but I feel like we wouldn't get too many of the banana farms actually in the range, so it's probably not worth it going through all that effort, but Cripple Moab definitely is. So this, wait, watch, watch all this cash come in. Watch all this cash come in on round 80. It's going to be so satisfying. You know, once once these two actually lose. Come on. It's going to be amazingly satisfying. Just all the numbers that are going to pop up. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, what? Ugh, boring. I didn't think that would happen. I thought because it was round 80, they'd just send the regular ZOMG as well. But, guess not. Whatever. Alright, let's get ourselves... This Avatar of Wrath up and coming. Come on. You don't have to place him precisely. 
in the right place, but uh, it does help if you're good at squeezing a bunch of druids in into a uh, tight situation. Because over... Why does it say times four? Ninja Kiwi, please fix that. Get some lightning going. Why not? Why does it take, say times five now? Oh, even better. Times five. You place it times three. Sorry. <laughs> Our bad. All right. Well, look at it go. It's 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 no competition. I'm sorry, Planarius. You're just not a threat. Literally not a threat. And it's even better because this is on medium difficulty. Last week's was in, on impoppable. And I feel like that's probably the hardest Blunarius we've ever faced. But then again, I have also said that I feel like the difficulty of Blunarius has been getting harder and harder every week. So, you know. Anyway, Avatar of Wrath. What a beauty. Absolute beaut. Alright, and then we'll get... Ball Lightning, just to blow things back and out of the way. And... Why not farm some more? Because we can. It seems logical. If we've got the cash to splash, and there's no threat... Ha! <laughs> Blenarius isn't a threat. Ooh, that's pretty satisfying, but not as satisfying as round 80 would have been. You know? This guy's gonna make life a living hell for us, isn't it? All right, let's 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 work on an MAD. MAD is an amazing tower to use against Blenarius, and will also heavily speed up these rounds. So let's lock this guy in place for now, because nobody wants to aim manually. All right, and then screw it. We'll just banana farm some more. Because you can never have too much cash. So long as you're still alive with it. And damn, we got a lot of time until the next Planarius. We're just... We're gonna be overkilling this so much. But it is so worth it. Come on. The ability will surely speed this up. But yeah, I feel like a lot of the time, the way I lose to Blunarius is just because I'm not focusing on beating the regular rounds. I'm just focusing on beating Blunarius, which is surprisingly quite different things. <laughs> Alright, so let's put a village down and get MIB. Does that hit this guy? Oh, it does. Beautiful. That's all we really want it to hit the Avatar of Wrath. And then... The only reason I do that is because round 90 is coming up with the... Uh, lead... Moabs. What are they called? DDTs. And I am not a fan of those guys. So... This guy can deal with them. Alright. Primary expertise. I suppose we could throw in, but we really don't need to. We're just going to go for an MAD instead to speed up all the other rounds. It'll be great. Where is that alchemist? Oh my god, it does hit that guy. Nice. Alright, so our MAD is going to make this much faster. In terms of popping Moabs. Everybody else can handle the regular balloons easily enough. Should we go for a permabrew? Ooh, that could be fun. Let's do that. Let's do the old uh, permabrew helicopter strategy. Hide the helicopters in the trees. Actually, no. I'll have you locked in place, just because I don't want you on the middle of the screen. I only need you for your ability, let's be real. Okay, so let's get a permabrew. Hells yes. And then the reason we get the Chinook, if you have not caught on, is because with the Chinook, you can let let this boy kind of permabrew everything around it. And then once they've all got the permabrew effect, the... Oh, wow, we didn't even get Bloon Jitsu. I'm so sorry, Ninja. I've been neglecting you. 
So then once everybody nearby has got the permabrew effect, we can just be like, hey, we want this guy to move and buff everybody over here now. And then he starts throwing them again, but these guys all keep their buff. That's the important part. Alright, get the call to arms. Homeland defense is an amazing upgrade to get. That's up there with the uh, the sniper and the MAD in terms of damage, or at least support damage. It is fairly insane. Let's grab you and buff the these guys. Oh no, I think he already had it, but the, the MAD didn't have it. Um, all right, what else do we go for? Oh, that is a good. That's a satisfying round right there. Damn, that was nice. You know what? Let's let's go for a monkey wall straight. Who was my original? You were my original. You can be the monkey wall straight. Just just so my stats look good. All right, monkey wall straight. It's not that great, but it's uh, it's a nice upgrade. Okay. Oh, Oban just reached max level. Nice. Nice work, Oban. All right. Let's see how quickly we shred this guy now. Oh my god, look at that. And then, we haven't even used any abilities yet. We'll wait for him to get a little bit closer, and then we'll use our Homeland and the MAD ability at the same time. Homeland first. Are you ready to watch this guy just get absolutely shredded? <laughs> I'm sorry. Is, uh, is, is this guy meant to be a boss balloon? Doesn't, doesn't look like it. Really doesn't look like it. <laughs> ah, you gotta love it. There's no kill like overkill. Oh, and it's just gone. Goodbye. See you in, what, 17 rounds. That's insane. I've rarely killed a Blunarius that quickly. Alright, well, I do love me a good... Oh, come on. Oh, that's fine. We can move the... We can move the... Permabrew. Let's get a big laser. And lock that in place as well. Oh, yeah. That's gonna help. Alright. That's just beautiful. That's just beautiful. Alright, let's make sure it is permabrewed. Move over there. Give him a little something something. There we go. Okay, and now... Hmm. What to do? <laughs> I do like the idea of a Sky Shredder. And since it's next to a homeland, we don't need to care about going for the less efficient middle path. Um, ooh, what's next? An Icicle Impale, maybe? I do enjoy a good... Is it an Icicle Impale? Yeah, it is. Just checking. All right, icicle and pale's good. Um, I think last time I checked, the glue gunner middle path ability, as well as the. So let's get that. The glue gunner middle path ability, as well as the ice monkey middle path ability, as well as the ninja middle path ability as well as is there one more there might not be one more maybe I'm making that up oh wait we could go for a uh, thingo what's it called ultra boost damn it we're not even that far off done yeah let's get an ultra boost start making our avatar of wrath even better but yeah as far as I'm aware this ability, this ability, and this ability should increase how much damage Blunarius takes. So, I really am going for the full-on overkill here. So, essentially, what we're going to do to try and practically kill 5th tier normal Blunarius in what should hopefully be seconds, uh, we're going to use... The glue, the ice, the sabo, then the homeland, and then the mad. That 
should absolutely destroy Blenarius. Alongside a massively buffed Avatar of Wrath. And then, yeah, that, that's, that's basically what I'm trying to do. I think we've got a decent enough chunk of money coming through here. So... I love how the left half of the map is literally just dedicated to farms at this point. <laughs> like, besides this one wizard and the helicopter that I've put over there as if it's in detention in the corner, uh, they're the only things that are actually on that side besides banana farms. Alright, here we go. Lunarius, tier 5, normal difficulty. It's already taking insane amounts of damage and we haven't even used an ability yet. This guy is screwed to the nth degree. Alright. Shall we begin our absolute domination of this guy? I think we just about should. Ability 1, 2, 3, Homeland, mad. Now, don't get me wrong, with this much defense, you definitely don't have to overkill like that. Especially if you're playing on mobile. Because I know a lot of people are pissed at Ninja Kiwi because mobile cannot handle all the strats needed to actually take on Linarius Elite. But, yeah, like I was saying, if, you, if you're not able to, uh, if you're not able to spam those abilities and things like that, you can go for other damage dealers like Master Bomber, slap him on strong, and a bunch of other things to avoid using the abilities that are such a pain. Alright, but there we go. Hasn't even gotten around the first loop. And he is getting slaughtered. And... Why not? Buff the mad. That's GG. Dunzo. Alright. Blenarius this week on normal is actually quite generous. <laughs> I mean, we did farm a crap ton, but uh, we had 300 grand left. That is insane. But uh, there you go. That's how you beat Blenarius normal difficulty. Sadly, we are being forced to use... Uh, Oban. Are we still forced to use him on this? We are. Okay. So it's going to be very interesting to see the strategies people will come up with for Elite, considering we don't get that Benjamin early game boost. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this has helped in some way, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.